Masha's Spooky Stories. Today, I'm going to tell you a very scary story. After I'm done, you won't be able to fall asleep. Not in the day, and not in the night, and not even in the morning after you eat. A nice plate of warm porridge. You still won't be able to sleep. And it all happened at a children's summer camp when a very fun boy arrived. All the children in the camp were having fun, but this boy knew how to have a lot of fun. He spent all day running and jumping around. It was like he received an electric shock, or maybe he had never any batteries. And later that evening, it was all dark outside. The streets were very quiet and scary, full of wolves howling on the other side of the fence and strangers who you should never talk to. And yet, this boy did not want to sleep. His batteries just wouldn't die. So he decided to pass the time telling horrifying, spooky stories. Stories about a black, black hand and white, white ghosts. About a door to a dungeon, a coffin on wheels and ghouls covered in hair. The boy told everyone, all the children, these very scary tales. Then he calmly fell asleep, and in no time, he was dreaming. All of a sudden, he dreamed of a black hand. He jumped, scared in bed, and looked all around. And to his surprise, coming out from under the bed was a real black hand. The nails were long, dirty, and uncut. Ew, disgusting. The boy decided to run away from it, but then he stumbled and fell because under the other bed, a black leg was sticking out. The boy got up, and right in front of him, there was a ghost wearing glasses. It was completely white and totally scary. What should he do? Jumping, he went from one bed to the other. He opened the door and went screaming and running away from the body parts. He had decided it was better to take his chances with the wolves and the strangers, who he should never, ever talk to. He was running and screaming through the streets when he was spotted by the headlights of a coffin on wheels. He continued running towards an alley, but the headlights were still chasing him. The boy was terrified. He kept running and screaming. Suddenly, he heard a loud voice coming from the coffin on wheels. Stop, what are you doing? Why aren't you asleep? He's trapped. The boy couldn't escape. With his back against the canteen wall, the boy closed his eyes, thinking everything was over. Now. A vampire will come out from the coffin to suck my blood. But there was no blood sucking. It was a camp counselor's vampire voice that said, I'm wondering what are you doing, Mr. Scary? You're frightening all the campers with your silly scary tales. Look around, you have scared them all. Mr. Blackhand climbed under his bed. Mr. Ghost hit his head under the sheets, and the Blackfoot locked himself in the bathroom and is so afraid that no one can make him come out. You have even pulled a joke on me, the director of the whole camp. While I had to chase after you up and down the camp, I ran out of gas. Well, Mr. Scary, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Without a doubt, the boy was ashamed. He was really embarrassed of his behavior. So he apologized to the boys in his dorm for the scary, creepy things he had said before their bedtime. He also promised to buy more gas to the camp director. Well, he will do that when he gets his first job. But I guess the director didn't believe him because he sighed heavily. First thing in the morning, he called the boy's parents to tell him the horrible story their son had told the others.
about a black, black hand and a coffin on wheels and the horrible trick he had played the night before. For some reason, only his mother was frightened. His dad, on the other hand, was not afraid, but instead he promised to handle the situation. 